Hey, how's it going? It's Sam here with your latest YouTube channel review and we are going to be doing a, a gaming channel review today. We are going to look into Stan the Slav's channel and see what it's actually all about. But before we get into that, I want to let you all know that we are now running contests on a daily basis, right? So we're going to be giving out uh, cash and training and channel evaluations for those who actually win the contest in order to participate in the contest what you need to do is you first need to subscribe you need to like the channel and the, uh, the video and then you need to go ahead and comment something uh, on the video and the coolest comments we will pick out three from every single video so I, I release basically five videos a day I'll be upping it to six and seven soon um, and basically we're going to be picking out the three best comments from every single video at the end of January 2018 and we are going to be doing a random draw okay so that everybody has a chance this is not about favoritism this is about uh, giving everyone an opportunity to win something okay so let's get into this channel review now Stanislav is a gamer and I have actually watched some of his videos and I'll be honest he's actually pretty good um, so and what I mean by pretty good now I'm not talking about gaming I don't know anything about gaming okay what I know about is people's presence and the delivery in which they do on video. So I have no problem with him actually presenting on the video. I think he's pretty good. Um, I think he has a good personality that people can actually relate to as well. Um, but there are a few things that obviously I've caught my that have caught my attention um, that I really wanted to bring to Stan because I think I can help him with what it is that he's actually doing. Now, uh, when it comes to um, YouTube gaming channel reviews, uh, to, to be 100% honest with you guys, it's a lot of it is not about content. You know, I've talked about this before. Yes, there are some people who, who put out just absolute garbage. Um, but Stan isn't the case. I've listened to him. I've watched his videos, and he's actually pretty good. What, uh, and, and on top of that, I'll be honest, his editing is awesome. His editing is better than mine, to be frank with you. Um, but there are definitely some things that we need to do um, in order to get his reps up because um, let's just have a quick look here before we go any further. As you can see, he's put out quite a bit of content. Okay, um, I, I haven't actually counted how many. I should have done that before the video, so I apologize. But look, he's put out a lot of content here. Um, I, I would I would go as far as saying that he's probably got more videos than he does subscribers, and that goes to show that you are 100% doing something wrong. So look at this: eight months, eight months, eight months, eight months, eight months, eight months. So he's putting out basically like two videos a week by the looks of it. Um, just at a quick glance here. So. Uh, you know, at two two weeks of video at eight, uh, uh, two videos per week at eight months, um, and it looks like he's kind of uh, cut back a little bit here. One month, one month, one month. So it looks like he's kind of cut back to one video per week, which is fine as well. But still, look over a span of eight months, you know, you're you're probably looking here at approximately sixty or seventy videos with fifty seven subscribers. This is showing you that you there is something wrong. There is something majorly wrong with what you're doing. And the reason I say that is not to be hypercritical. I say that because I was in the same boat myself, where I had produced like 200 videos and uh, had like less than 200 subscribers. I produced 250 videos and had less than 250 subscribers, right? Now I'm at the point now where uh, I've, I've got over 350 subscribers and less than, I believe, 280 videos. So I've changed what it was that I'm doing and now I'm actually giving out the information to people here. I knew what to do in the first place. I just wasn't doing it properly, okay? So Stan, hopefully you take on uh, this feedback, man. Um, I know you asked for the, uh, the review. So I'm gonna give you everything I got, man. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, and it may be a little bit brutal at some point, uh, but just understand that I'm doing, I'm coming uh, at this from a perspective of trying to better your gaming, your YouTube gaming channel, okay? So if we just go back here very, very quickly, now I've actually watched this video or at least a few minutes of it and look, it's just about uh, a game that you're actually playing. First and foremost, you want to create um, a channel uh, trailer. And that trailer can be very, very basic. It can be one to three minutes, you know, and basically what you want to be talking about is who, uh, what, your, what your channel is about, why people should subscribe, and then talk very briefly about yourself. You don't talk about yourself first, which is the mistake that most people make. People don't really care who you are. They want to know what your channel is and what it is that you've got to offer, okay? So you want to make sure you put those points up first and foremost. All right, so now the second thing that I want to talk about here, uh, and just to be 100% frank with you, man, I believe um, just at a glance, I mean, this is the first thing that caught my attention. The, for me personally, what, what really caught my attention is how busy your thumbnails are. Okay, now look at this here. These these are good thumbnails, right? I like 
it, you, you get an immediate feel for what it is that your video is about. There is a similarity across all of them, right? Which is creating a, a little bit of branding. And on top of that, it, it, it actually, it's got your face in just about every single one, right? Except probably this one, it's got your hands in it. So, but that's fine, all right? Now, these, whereas if, if you look at um, a lot of these, uh, the, the thumbnails up here, especially these ones, right? So you've gotten with your branding, yeah? You've gotten your, your at the top of the left-hand corner here, where you've gone ahead and updated and put your brand there. That's fine, that's cool, that's, I, I'm having no problem with that. Um, it, it actually brings a bit of familiarity in amongst your channel, which is good, because you're playing different games regularly. Um, but in terms of the actual thumbnails themselves, for me personally, it's very, very busy. Um, uh, these ones are fine as well. See, I, I think your thumbnails were doing pretty good, you know, back in the day. What's this, six months ago, eight months ago? Um, and then, like, honestly, they, they got kind of crazy. Um, like, this this here, it got pretty, like, this is playing, obviously, that's fine. This is pretty damn cool, honestly, but it doesn't tell me what exactly this is about, okay? And this here, um, like, if you look at these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, like this here, this has got so much going on. Look at the amount of colors. Look at, look at, like I, when I look at the thumbnail, I don't know what I'm looking at, okay? Here's the thing, pe people with, with, and this applies to anyone creating thumbnails on any channel. When you're creating thumbnails, you are fighting for a click, okay? When people are browsing, especially on their phones, which is where a lot of views are coming from now these days, and a shitload of them are coming for gaming channels, so this is really applicable, a lot of people are looking at the quality of the thumbnail before they even read the title, okay? So if you think, well, it doesn't really matter, like my, my title tells them what this video is about. No, people are looking at thumbnails to make their decision and then they're going to the title for actual confirmation, okay? So you wanna make sure your, your, uh, your thumbnails are great, okay? This one's actually pretty cool as well, like honestly, but frankly, man, like I, I would honestly just dumb it down. Like if you wanna, if you wanna like oh, go into games, that's fine. Have something like this, have some consistency across the thumbnails as to what it's actually about. Keep your, uh, see the, 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 even the font colors is the same. The, the images are obviously all about Resident Evil. You got some badass shit going on. And then you've got your branding in the top left hand corner. That's cool, man. Three elements, bang, done, okay? Beyond that, like it's it can just get way too busy, like like this this sort of stuff here. How many how many colors have we got going on here? How many characters have we got in here? Like, you know, there, there is just a whole hell of a lot going on. All right, and that's again, this is just my opinion, um, and I'm going to try and and I'm trying to help you. Okay, um, so let's let's go a little bit further. Um, let's let's have a look at the playlist. Okay, so we're diving into the channel a little bit deeper here. And look, man, you're doing a great job here. Okay. There is no doubt about this. I don't need to give any feedback here. You've got your little nightmares um, playlist. You've got your Resident Evil, horror games, live streams. Yep, this is awesome, man. Uh, and this is honestly something that I would encourage even more for you. I would encourage um, doing more live streams, especially as you get more and more subscribers. Live streaming and gaming seems to be a pretty big thing. Um, and I know for a fact that YouTube favors live stream over uploaded content, okay? So... They're going to push it for you if you're able to actually sit down and do that. Um, so very happy with the playlist work you've done here. And I want to keep it, uh, let, let's just keep it at that for now. Um, let's go into your about and find out with this. Uh, so I do fu uh, funny commentary heavy let's play and and playthroughs of old and new games. Okay, so my goal is to brighten your day, make you smile through my content. Okay, so that's cool, man. Um, uh, and I like the fact that you haven't linked out. This is very, very simple. Um, so that's fine. The only thing I'd probably add to this description is a subscribe link. Okay. What do I mean by subscribe link? Let's just click on this. Okay. That didn't bring up what I was wanting to. Well, congratulations, man. You just got my subscriber. Um, but what I was actually meaning to do is like, you've got these links here to subscribe. So you want to be able to put that here. You, you want to put your YouTube subscribe as well, and that's going to boost your subscriptions. Okay. Um, I, I honestly look like one, two, three subscriptions outside of like of, of uh, 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 YouTube. I would focus 100% on building my subscription list through YouTube until I've got probably like a thousand, especially in the in the um, especially in the YouTube uh, the gaming market. Like even a thousand subscribers are nothing, but at that point you've you've proven some sort of loyalty to YouTube, right? And that's going to allow you to kind of build out what it is that you're actually doing, man. All right, so let's dive into the videos and see what's going on in terms of search engine optimization. Uh, we'll just dive into three videos very quickly here. And these are the three latest videos. So what I'm kind of hoping is that them being your three latest videos is that you've learned uh, a lot as you've gone on and you've improved, okay? So let's just look at these ones immediately. Um, so I'm going to give you a thumbs up while we're at it just to give you a little bit of a, uh, a, little bit of a boost. And look, man, I'm going to give you a, 
I'm going to give you a, uh, a comment here as well. All right, man. So I've just given you a comment and a like, and now I'm subscribed. So I've just given you a bit of a boost for your channel. Every comment, like, and subscribe, and share that you can get is all classified as engagement. The more engagement you can get, the better off you can be, which is why I'm building uh, everything around engagement. Right? We can't we can't necessarily control watch time because you know a lot of people will watch even if it's a great video. They'll watch three and a half minutes and they'll move on. That blew my mind when I first watched these things, but it's a fact. Okay. So what I would focus on is say like, dude, your editing is awesome. So I think maybe. My guess is honestly is that your 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 viewing uh, list is pretty good, um, meaning like probably out of your five minutes, I'm guessing you're probably averaging you know three to four minutes, uh, which is pretty good. And so, but here's 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 some of the things that we can we can work on. All right, so uh, we can work on like your actual tags, right? So the tags are pretty good. I'll be honest. Look, you've got a ranking of three, three, three. Uh, loot and looter game jolt and what's this looter game jolt okay so let's just click on some of these links to see what's actually going on so I'm surprised you, you've actually got some rankings here um, but they and and uh, you've actually uh, and but the, the views are still so low so my guess is this is not a very popular game again I, I'm sorry I'm not I'm not a big gamer so I don't know much about these kinds of things uh, but here's here's some of the things that you can look at right so you've got how to loot a, jun a dungeon that's great um, and it is very good, right? So there's there's reasonable search volume with very low competition. So it's great that you went after that keyword, and that's probably why you ranked. But here's the other things you can look at: um, Terraria Dungeon, right? Um, you can look at tutorials. You can, um, you know, so for example, how to loot a dungeon tutorial will probably be one. Ter uh, Terraria Top Five Dungeon Drops. Okay, so these are all keywords that you can look at. Now, those those suggestions honestly aren't always all that great. So what I actually do is like how to loot a dungeon and let's see what actually pops up okay in, in, in YouTube's suggestions so they actually haven't got any suggestions there man so that's probably why the words got such a low uh, search value to it right um, so why you've been able to rank like third but there's nothing else to go on so let's look at ter I think it was Terraria dungeon I believe was uh, the keyword that was suggested here so um, I would I would look at this if Terraria Dungeon is in fact the game and if that is in fact the game It's a crime that you haven't noted it here, man. You, you really need to do that. Okay um, Because I mean how to lead a dungeon could could you lead, could lead anyone to anything So Terraria Dungeon is is the keyword that we're looking at look at this guardian farm defenders guardian sword loot chest loot guardian kill guardians first night guide Okay, I've just given you one two three four five six seven eight nine ten videos that you could create all around how to loot a dungeon now my guess is that you're um, you're actually doing these uh, these videos not not as frequently because you're spending a lot of your time editing let me be 100 with you man editing is important yes I 100% I see the value in it and I'm not discounting at all but I, I would honestly rather you put out like three to four videos per week and done your done your your edit your editing way way down, as opposed to like editing a video per day, uh, as opposed to spending like making one video and spending an entire week to edit it. Right, content is king, my man, especially on YouTube. Right, that's what they're all about. So what you want to do is you want to increase all of your search engine optimization. So you know improve your your tags. Right, you know uh, put together the the right information you want to do here and. You know that that's that's gonna get you. That's gonna get you ranking a lot of the words. That's I mean this stuff here. This is this is pretty good stuff, man. Like what what I would do. Another thing I would do, man, is I would make sure I'm the first person to comment. I'm always the first person to comment on my own video. And then what you want to do is you want to place the uh, a link. You know what I mean? Like a link to, for example, to this channel. Uh, you want to put a link to maybe like the playlist of, of that this particular game is on. And you want to pen it. Okay, that's another signal. That's sent to um, YouTube. All right. So <clears throat> another thing you want to do is you want to share your video through Facebook, and you don't want to just copy paste this link on the Facebook. You want to put together like the thumbnail that you've got for this. Share it on your Facebook page or in your fan page or whatever it is that you've got going on, and then you want to like and comment on that particular post. So even if no one else does does it, like if nobody else comes and checks this out, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Happens to all of us, okay? But that's going to actually give you another social signal. Like you shared it on Facebook, it got some comments, right? It grabbed some attention, and then 
<clears throat> you want to uh, when, when you create this this uh, your very first comment you want to like and heart your own comment okay more signals and you want to pin it okay so there you go I've just given you like five or six things on this video alone that you can improve on and that was your latest video okay so what I like seeing on the other video was the fact that you had a decent enough description now I don't know if you wrote that yourself but I sure as hell hope you did um, another thing I, I want to do here man like it's good it's awesome you've got the subscribe here now that's cool but I would remove my Instagram and Twitter for now because you haven't built up enough authority with 58 subscribers you haven't built up enough authority man to really show to YouTube that you're dedicated to them and their platform okay so I would I would remove these these two links here um, uh, the subscribe today yes this is great um, and I would remove these two as well like foxy doodle I mean if people really want to play this game they can find it themselves um, and if uh, in terms of finding the game again something else that they can do themselves I would increase the amount that I've written here you've only written I don't know I don't know how many words have, have been written here but I'm guessing it's probably about a hundred you want to be doing between a hundred to two hundred I would I honestly tell people a minimum of three hundred um, because that's gonna put you above and beyond what majority of people do okay I'll give you a little bit of love on, on this video as well <clears throat> but look again man your, your, your editing is 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 great you've got 50 minutes of gameplay here and there are six likes um, and 30 views and look let's have a look at let's have a look at the search um, let's have a look at the tags of this video as well and see how it's actually doing so none of these are ranking none of them right so again there's got to be something going on here now um, something I haven't watched the videos and listened to as to whether or not you are actually commenting these things but here's a here's a mistake straight away dude like it's got um, why is this so popular doki doki literature club YouTube is going to look at this video and go, oh, this video is about why is this so popular. You want to front load your keyword, right, which I believe is this one here, and you want to put it here, okay? So you want to put it at the front of this right here, not not as the secondary, especially after like one, two, three, four different things. Like this, this almost becomes irrelevant in YouTube's eyes. They think that your video is all about this. Why is this so popular? Okay, and so look here. Also, the, the very first tag is, is the first thing, um, YouTube goes in terms of like how they look at tags they look at one thing at a time so you've got Stan the Slob is your very first tag not like Doki, uh, what's this Doki Doki Literature Club alright so that's something you want to be putting in here as well has it got Doki Doki Literature Club just having a quick look no okay it's not even in here so automatically there's a mismatch and in the description, well, at least you've got it here. Um, but again, you want this to be the, in the very, at, at the front of it. Like, even if you just write, like, Doki Doki Literature Club, full stop. And then go, why is this so popular, right? You want to you wanna front load your keywords to tell YouTube exactly what this is about. All right, so um, there's a few more things that I've added in there as well. So let's look at the third and final video for you, man. Um, let's give you a little bit of love while we're here and show more. So let's look at this. Again, same thing, right? So it's good, at least you've got the first thing here. I, well, I think that's the game anyways. I assume it's the game. Um, oh no, look, it's just come up with Cuphead. So Cuphead, you've got Cuphead as the second thing, right? And then don't do not deal with the devil. Um, and then you've got number five here for some reason. So I'm wondering if this is like video number five in the series. Again, you want to put the name of the game and the keyword you're actually going after at the very front of this, not as the second part. But at least you don't have four things going on, right? You've got you've got one thing and then you've got this bar. Now, here's another thing, dude. Get away from the bars and get to semicolons, right? This here is exactly what you want to do. I would honestly just cut this shit out right here. And if this is really important, I would put it as the second line, okay? Um, as for number five, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, you know, but get, get rid of these bars. Go, go to... Go to brackets and semicolons. Okay, they've been proven to be uh, to be much better um, for for ranking videos, especially in um, titles. Okay, now the uh, again, remove the links, man. Like people can find the game if they really want them. You don't want you don't want to be sending people out of your channel. Put your put your description. Put your uh, subscribe today here. Now you're probably thinking, well, I've actually seen a lot of people that are that are doing this. Well. Yeah, those people are probably authorities, and authorities can get away with whatever the hell they want, okay? And by authorities, I mean like top 10% in your channel. So you'll, you'll want to go and check out like the top 10 gaming YouTubers and kind of average out what it is their, their, their uh, subscriptions are, okay? Then you want to probably look at approximately 50%. So I've like, I'm probably I've got a little bit, a little bit confusing. Here. Let's just say, for example, the average over the top 10 gaming channels in YouTube is, you know, 100,000 subscribers, okay? So 50% of that is 50,000 subscribers. 
50,000 subscribers is what you want to aim for before you'll, you'll be classed as an authority in this particular, in the gaming niche, okay? At that point, man, you can do whatever you want, right? You, you, because you'll, you'll have such a great following that you can put out whatever you want and, and as long as, you know, the title is there and all this sort of stuff, like, you can link out and it won't really affect your channel, but until then, right, there's a lot that, that needs to be improved upon. So, look, this is an eight-minute video. It's got one minute 46, um, which is 22% 20, 20, average watch, which honestly is pretty average, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. You've got nine comments and five likes, which is really good. Um, even though it doesn't show, well, you've got six now. Even though it doesn't show as a green hair, trust me, it's pretty good for a 40, for 48% views. Okay, what we need to do is increase all of this sort of stuff, okay? We want to increase the rankings of your video. So you want, and basically the way you do that is you make sure you talk, you say it in your video, okay? So you want to say, for example, like, Cuphead, don't deal with the devil. In this video, we're going to be playing blah, 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 and then get into it, all right? Then you want to be talking about, you want to note it in your uh, title, you want to front load it in your description, you want to write longer descriptions that that brings in multiple keywords, okay? And then, uh, and in terms of keywords, like you want to obviously use those keywords as tags as early as possible. So then basically YouTube goes, well, he's talking about it in the video, it's in his title, it's in his um, description, like it's in it's in his tag so this game this video must be about cuphead right and then that then they'll start ranking you for different cuphead terms depending on what you actually say in your video all right so um there you go dude i've, I've just given you basically everything i can possibly give you man like i you you're, again your editing is great you're great on on um on the video site, I said I've watched a handful of your videos and I know you're good, you've got a good sense of humor. And so, but what I would suggest is all of that back end stuff, right? Which is what a lot of creators miss out on. All of this back end stuff is what really needs to be focused on. If you really want to rank, if you really want to get more subscribers, if you really want to get more views, you need to do all of these back end things, right? Like, uh, like, minimizing your links to, to basically subscribing on YouTube channel for now. Then once you're an authority, then you can do whatever the hell you want. Um, on top of that, you want to improve your thumbnails, you want to improve the tags, you want to improve the titles, you want to improve the descriptions. All of these kinds of things add up to tell YouTube what your video is about. And then it's up to your video, which I think they're good enough um, to, to gain the subscribers and to gain um, people's attractions. Now, one last thing I want to mention is, yeah, you want to mention in the first like minute of your video, you know, even at the 30 second mark, if you can, mention to people had just said, hey, look, thanks for checking out my video about blah, blah, blah. You know, make sure you take a second to subscribe. Now let's get stuck into this, okay? Because it's been proven time and time again that majority of people, I mean, I've gone into videos already, but just let's, let's just have a quick look again. Majority of people click away in less than three minutes, you know, 90% of people are gone. So look at this, this one video here, it's, it's at one minute and 30. So you want to try and get that subscription comment in ASAP. And the average view of one minute 30 for a 50 minute video, you want to be doing a lot better than that, man. You, you, you're making a lot of effort with your videos in terms of creating them. We need to get this back end shit sorted, okay? Look, here's another one. You've got a eight minute video and you've got one minute and 46 seconds. Now, in terms of the eight minute, eight minutes is, 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 is okay. Um, but in terms of like gameplay, I know that you can smash that time, man. Like I would honestly aim like between like 10 to 20 minutes for you. I, I am between eight and 15 for me, but I'm in a, in a market that doesn't require 80, like uh, 15 minute videos. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at this final one. Look at that. Now that's what we're talking about. Five minutes and 21 seconds of this, and you've got a 22 minute video. That's good stuff. Again, it's a 24% watch. So that 20 to 25% watch is 100% normal. Okay, so that's why you want you get to get your call to action in early. To tell people to subscribe, and I forgot to give you some love here, to tell people to subscribe to your channel before they do anything else, all right? So look, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, this channel review, you know, I've given uh, Stan the Sub everything I possibly can. Anyone else in the gaming niche, you know, this gaming channel review is for you guys, all right? You can watch these videos and you can improve on how you can actually go about, you know, uh, building your gaming channels just by watching everybody else's gaming channels that I'm reviewing for you, all right? So if you've got any questions at all, go ahead and comment below this video. Remember to like like this video and subscribe so that you can go into the prizes, right? The, the, the very first prize pack is worth $444, all right? That's nothing to sniff at. Trust me, you're gonna be wanting them packages to really help you build your channels, right? So take care, much love, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.